Hello everyone, a lead code a day. Today our problem is lead code 215, case largest element in an array. Uh, this question is about to find the uh, case largest element in an unsorted array. For example, the input is an array and the k, and the output is the case largest element in this array. So the problem is kind of straightforward. So let's directly go to the solution. Uh, actually, there are several solutions that can solve the problem. So I list it here. So the first way is first we can sort the array. After, and uh, then we pick the case largest, like the from end, because sorted uh, sorting a uh, sorted array is from small to large but we want the, want the case largest one so basically we just pick the case from the from starting from the end uh, in our sorted array so that's very straightforward and the time complexity is of course big O n log n because we first sort um so a better way we can think about is to use a data structure called heap or priority queue um so the implementation is here so in python heap queue is heap queue is really easy to use uh so we have a heap queue library and we can directly call heapq dot enlargest uh, k element and nums. So basically, we maintain a, a mean heap with k elements. And then, after we are uh, or a uh, max heap, so it's the same. If we take a negative of a max heap, we got a mean heap, and we got we pop the first element in the heap uh, because we need to maintain the heap and we need to put the n elements in nums to heap one by one and each time we want if we want to maintain the heap we need a log k manipulation because uh, let's say a mean heap the property is the root is smaller than smaller than both its left child and right child so the time cl complexity when we use a heap to return the case largest element is big o n log k so can we do better the answer is of course yes and then the solution we need a quick select. So let's look at the solution here. Um, quick select is a very classic algorithm. Uh, we we use that in quick sorting, and for quick sort, the average time complexity is big O n log n, and because this sorting this sort happens in place so it takes like no extra space so it's very welcomed by uh, people to re realize a sorting algorithm uh, so for quick select the idea is like every time we pick a pivot and uh, so pivot, some people would choose a random one from the nums, and sometimes we'll just pick the like the n element from the array. And then every time, every partition, what we do is to swap, do multiple swaps here, and uh, after swapping, we want to make sure all the elements left than pivot is smaller than pivot and all the elements right to the p 
pivot is larger than pivot. So in that case, in that way, we somehow we use this because uh, we always need to um, for a quick select. It's always uh, most of the time it's written in a recursive way. But every partition, we not only select a pivot, but we also make the make the array kind of sorted because the left part of pivot is smaller than pivot and the right part of pivot is larger than pivot and uh, so for partition it's always something like this we can think of it as a template and then in the quick select part we call this we first call this partition to get the current position of the pivot and then we, we, we just see because the goal of our problem is to find the case largest element so if there are my position is like k minus one so we already meet the uh, satisfy the requirements like there are like k minus one elements larger than this current position so we just return it otherwise we just do another round of quick select um, so I think this question quick select is a very classic algorithm and one of the most important use case is to find the case largest element actually in the quick sorting we also use this to uh, recursively find uh, recursively sort the total array uh, that's it for today's algorithm. If you think this video helps, please like and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.